So today's video is just a normal Thursday dinner shift, multi-apping ride along. We're doing Instacart, DoorDash, and Uber Eats. Let's see how much money we can make today. So we got our first order of the day. It's around $14 for 6.9 miles. It looks like I parked way too far away. Could have gone a little bit closer. As we got kind of screwed. Turns out it was an order and pay, which means we had to place the order with the Uber Eats card and wait for them to prepare the order. So we were not gonna do that. It could be up to 20 minutes, 25 minutes. But we ended up getting this CBS DoorDash. It's $8. It's a shop and deliver, so we gotta do a little shopping. There's only four items though. So let's go find these four items right here. Shaboo, we got some expensive water. Open up the fridge. We got some Arizona. Some Windex for cleaning some windows. Open out the receipt and let's go. So checking out all these houses in this neighborhood are all the same. This is what socialism looks like, guys. This next one was a pretty average order, $7.50, delivered it to a hotel, got it done in about 20-25 minutes. Then I get this double order, Wingstop and CeCe's Pizza. They're right next to each other, so that's pretty convenient. Not the best payout, but regardless, we're still on the hustle, we're still sprinting. Next we got Cold Stone and Five Guys, $12, 6.7, a little bit better. So after two hours, we're at $39, that's around $19, $20 an hour. So Jersey Mike's order, $7.50, solid order. And I also got this add-on order, which I thought about, but you know, $5 for five miles is a dollar per mile. We don't want that. So I ended up getting this one, but however, this restaurant is really slow, but I still have some time to drive over there and pick this one up that I thought I might as well take it. I'm about to go walk in and find out if it's a long wait. So we're walking into the restaurant. It kind of looks like that one cantina from Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Obi-Wan! Hey, yeah, I'm just picking up a DoorDash. Take your seat, I'll be right with you. But regardless, we're still gonna pick it up. They actually had it done immediately. Next thing we know, we get a triple order. A DoorDash and two Uber Eats, all in the same shopping area. Now we gotta be careful and we gotta get these done fast just in case I don't get deactivated for not picking them up fast enough. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna confirm our arrival at the restaurant that's DoorDash for the Red Robin, but we're not gonna confirm our pickup until we go pick up these two Uber Eats orders that are just down the road. So we're gonna make a little walk down to Cava over there. We're gonna cross the street. Make sure to look both ways when you cross that street. Here we go, we're walking our way back. Now here's a clip of me ensuring our safety looking both ways. So we currently got three different orders in our car. We got Cava, we got Chipotle, we got Red Robin. We got a whole feast in here, but unfortunately we gotta drop it off. Um, my DoorDash, I waited until the last minute to confirm my pickup so they don't think that I'm multi-apping, you know, hopefully they don't catch on on what I'm doing here. I'm about to go drop this off. Honestly, I didn't really look at the drop-off location, so I'm kind of nervous. They're all far in the opposite direction. But we're about to go find out. I'm about to show you. So that last order was so legit, we had to fill up our car afterwards. So it's getting late now, so we decided we're going to do one more order. It ended up being this McDonald's. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. We'll be right with you. Alright. Hi, thanks, Brady. Can I help you? Hi, I got a DoorDash for David and Matthew. Nope, DoorDash has to be numbers, not names. The number is 148840. No, it's just the last three. 840? Uh, 840. Yep, I got that one. And the other one? 365. Yep, you can go around. Thank you. So honestly, we probably should have just parked and went to see if the lobby was open, but we were feeling kind of lazy. We don't want to be lazy. We want to always be hustling. We always want to be on that grind. So next time we're gonna we're gonna look through the lobby. We're gonna take this as a lesson. This is the final drop off of the night. Here we are dropping off the first one, and here we are dropping off the second one. So today we made eighty-seven dollars and sixty-eight cents in four hours for an hourly rate of twenty-one dollars and ninety-two cents. Pretty average day. Let's take a look at our orders that we did today. Pretty decent. I'd say the best one here would have to be that triple order that we did because we got it done pretty fast or that McDonald's double order, $14 for six miles. So please subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed. I'm trying to reach my first 100 subscribers. 
I'm almost there. I'm about like 83 by the time I'm editing this. So hopefully we can reach it. And yeah, hope you liked the video.